everyone welcome back to a new video Ta -da -da -da. Uh, i've got my model ones inspired gel polishes out i don't think i've used these much but i'm going to use lots of different colors today and they're all beautiful i love them so much this color is really nice it's a glittery silver hollow actually we don't end up using this one in the end but we do use all the others so i will tell you what they are as we use them I'm also using from Nail Sugar the Aurora Magic Pigment, which is a gives like a greeny pink like sheen. Oh, it's lovely. And then I'll be using Nail Sugar glitters to create this nail, which I will show you as we get. I'll show you the glitters as we get there. Uh, there's going to be lots of things going on in this video. Um, it's also slightly longer for those of you who have asked for longer videos. I don't know why you want to put up with me for, for any longer, but thank you for asking for long videos. <laughs> right, anyway, all of the nails in this set start off with two coats of white. So the white is 055 from Model 1s. And it is one of the Inspire gels. I've said that before. Um, they cure in an LED lamp for 30 seconds. Now, when you're applying the Neon Magic Pigment to a nail, it needs to go onto a no wipe top coat. So I'm going to be using Model 1's wooden lidded top coat. Non, non, I said non wipe, didn't I? Yeah, this is a non wipe. So the pigment is going to show up every lump and bump. So when you apply the top coat, make sure you haven't got any like little you know sometimes you end up with little bits in the top coat don't you don't want any of those because it will show up <laughs> sorry i'm gonna sniff i can't blow because i'm locked up that sounded weird i can't blow because i'm blocked up but i i sniff and i know it annoys people but i'm really sorry uh so when it as soon as it comes out the lamp i like to apply it with my finger you can use a silicon tool or an eyeshadow applicator i just i don't know i just find it easier to rub it in with my finger and you only need a little bit but i always use too much and can you see we've got this like greeny pinky tinge now i think it looks lovely on white and this is going to be the base of our rainbow nail in fact they're all kind of rainbow nails so uh, to seal it in, we're going to use the no wipe top coat again. You need to seal it in, otherwise it's going to it will rub off, obviously. And this just sort of finishes off. Look, it looks so nice. There we go. So that's going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to show you all the pretty colours. So the first one is 0769. This is a gorgeous orange but like a it's like a neony almost like a neon pastel orange but it's not quite pastel i don't know um 0315 is a bright yellow isn't that nice it's like a i don't know not uh not honey i don't know uh 06 was it 0685 I missed it. I wasn't paying attention. But this is another yummy bright green. Um, 0835. Th this blue, I would have liked it to have been a little bit a little bit more a little bit brighter. It's a little bit muted, but actually it goes nice anyway with the set, so I'm not too fussed. 0140 is one of my favourite colours from the Inspire Gel polishes. Gorgeous purple. And then 0078 is a yummy pink. It's a proper girly pink, that. Okay, so these are all the colours that we're going to use. I initially didn't know whether to use unicorn decals or cake ones, but I just felt like the unicorn ones went a little bit better with the colours that I'd chosen. You're also going to need some clear acrylic powder. Doesn't matter which brand or anything as long as it's clear acrylic powder um if you're not an acrylic tech i always think it's it's a good idea just to have a little pot of clear acrylic because it's really good for creating like embossed details on on nails so what we're doing is we've put our gel polish on and then we're going to sprinkle the acrylic over and the gel polish will suck up the acrylic you can see where it started to go shiny that means you haven't put enough acrylic on so we're going to sprinkle a bit more acrylic on then when it's completely matte and it doesn't go shiny 
that's when it's ready to go in the lamp. Now when I do this, I always like to double cure. So instead of 30 seconds, I'll pop it in for 60 seconds and then I will brush off the loose acrylic powder and we're left with this embossed orange section on the nail. And you can do this with any design you want. You can do it with flowers on, it's just, it's just a really nice, I love it, I love it so much. It's probably one of my favorite things to do on nails. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do the same thing, um, going all the way up the nail, but I'm going to each time use a different color. And I am going in like some kind of order, like so I've, I've gone with orange, yellow, green, blue, lilac and then pink oh, i feel like i need to sniff or cough or sneeze <laughs> sorry <laughs> you're all gonna be like oh for god's sake that's um oh yeah and then when i get when i get to the pink because this is like the last color we're gonna have a gap at the top still so i will just start again from like the bottom so i'll start again with the what is that color orange with the orange and then yellow and i do manage to squeeze a little teeny tiny bit of green on as well right at the very top so yeah so i didn't show you me sprinkling the acrylic on every time if you want to you don't have to do each section at a time you can just go ahead and put all the gel polish colors on and then sprinkle it over it in one go i like to do it in sections because i'm doing it on shine if if it wasn't if the if the um, if i wasn't doing it on a shiny top coat i wouldn't be too worried um, but because it's on shiny, sometimes the gel polish has a tendency to run a little bit because it's got nothing to, like if it was matte, it would have, um, the, the matte is, is easier to adhere to. Do you, you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm trying to say? So because it's on shiny now, I like to do it in, it, like in little sections. Depends how much patience you've got, I suppose. <sighs> I have enough at the moment. <laughs> although some oh god there was a comment on one of my videos yesterday about me not wanting to get a job i didn't mean i don't want a job um i have a job i'm self-employed um what i meant was i don't want a job like working for someone else you know be, you know oh in a shop having to deal with people because you know what people's are like oh you know what people's are like by the comments you get sometimes you know what i'm saying <laughs> Anyway, these are the glitters. Oh my goodness, they are gorgeous. They are all fine iridescent glitters from Nail Sugar. Um, Tweety Pie is actually out of production at the minute, but I'm thinking Karen's gonna get some, I don't know what's gonna happen, but it hopefully it should be back. We're just not sure when. So we've got Tweety Pie, or Orange Dream, I think that was, no, Tangerine Dream, Apple Teeny. This one is called Flamingo. I think that's like the perfect name for this one. <laughs> and Lavender Lights, which is probably one of my favourite. Actually, I like all of these, to be honest. Um, and then the last blue is called Blue Lagoon. They just go really nice together. Oh my God, I'm so cold. I'm shaking. <laughs> Shut up, Nat. Stop moaning. Right, okay. So when I sugar, I like to sugar onto a gel or a gel polish top coat that has no tacky layer because if i miss a section right and you go off with a sugared nail you're going to end up with like tacky bits and you'll probably end up with like little hairs and stuff getting stuck to that and or dust you know and you don't want that so sugar into something that has no tacky layer and so we've not cured it this is what sugaring is a lot of you probably know this but some of you won't if you're new um sugaring is it's basically you're, you're going to end up with a textured nail afterwards so what i like to do is sprinkle the color on and i like to with the with the second color i'm or with the next color that i'm using i slightly overlap the first color that i've used if you've got six separate glitter trays then it might make your life a little bit quicker but i just thought sod it i'm just going to do it with one um so like with the blue i'm going to slightly overlap the green and then yeah i kind of try and fade it a little bit upwards so that when i come to overlap the next color it kind of looks more like an ombre or it looks more like it's blended 
as opposed to just like you know stuck like a like less of a color block and more of a blend oh i'm gonna have to shut my window my window's wide open okay and then the last one is the flamingo so on the on the other nail that i done i actually did use another pink called sugar baby at the very top but i'm not going to do that with this one so i'm just pressing down slightly and i did wipe down the sides and then that's going to go in again i'm going to double cure and then when i sugar i like to just brush off any excess with a hard brush um i don't know what happened at the top like there's a bit missing um not quite sure how that happened <laughs> maybe i didn't put enough top coat on the top i'm not sure that's never happened in my life anyway um if you want it if your client doesn't want it shiny what i what i did on this the, the first nail that i done was i top coated and then i buffed and then i top coated again and you're just left with this gorgeous shiny glittery nail this is actually my favorite this one so i'm going to put this one in the set instead of the sugared one because why not okay and then right the next now again we've got two coats of the white gel polish there's no top coat on this it's just literally the two coats of gel polish i was trying to decide what unicorn i wanted it's there's too much choice so while i was deciding i went and filled up my dappen dish with some water because when you're using the decals they are water decals so they need the water to soak in you only have to soak them for about like 10 seconds you don't they don't need a lot of time in there at all i'm gonna use the unicorn with the banner the banner actually says believe in us i was like what does that say i thought it said believe in the us or something i don't know what it said but it said believe in us i was like oh you're such an idiot now <laughs> so what i'm doing is i'm cutting away any excess around the decal and then they have a little they have film over the top so i'm just removing that film and then I'll leave them to... So I usually leave them in there for about 30 seconds. That is probably way too much. And then you have to try and fish them out with tweezers. Um, you will probably see there's a little hair on my tweezers. <laughs> it's okay. It's from my chin. <laughs> the, I love these tweezers. They're great for... They're great for chin plucking. Um, but clearly one didn't want to leave their tweezers. <laughs> oh so wrong so wrong anyway right the decals um just dab dab dab, 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 dab 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 them off onto the paper towel to get rid of any like excess water and then they're literally just gonna stick onto that tacky layer of your gel polish um if you want to you can rub them with um a silicone tool just to make sure you don't have any air bubbles in them and that they're lying completely flat Again, I'm just, you can't see, but I'm just dabbing off the excess water. I wanted to put this little gemstone underneath because I like, I like these, I like things, I like gemstones and stuff. I used to work in a jeweler's and I do have a gemology diploma, believe it or not. I've forgotten everything that I learned, but I've got it. <laughs> there we go. So I'm quite happy with that. And then I'm going to use the top coat, the wooden lidded Model 1's top coat. And um, yeah, it just finishes the nail off and it makes them look like, I don't know, they just look really nice. Like once it's top coated, you're like, oh, that looks pretty good. I, I feel like I could have done something else to the nail though. Um, but right now I don't care because it's done. <laughs> okay, two coats of white again. So this is the last now now um i'm gonna stick some i was like gonna add crystals on and then um i remembered i'll show you in a minute hang on i'm not gonna although you've already you would have seen it in the thumbnail oh i'm gonna use little pearls from crystal parade um i do have a crystal parade code actually right let me tell you my discount codes uh you will have probably seen them on the screen already but um hang on let me just right let me just explain this first right i'm using the nalchemy crystal totalist gem glue this is a kind of thick consistency gem glue um you can also get from the crystal parade this gem buddy which is another um thicker consistency gem glue i am using up my nalchemy one before i use i can't i've had this for a little while poppy kindly sent it to me but i 
I'm I don't I don't like starting two different things um, if it's the same, you know, so I'm using up my nail can be one before I use up the gem bunny But they'll do the same thing. They'll they'll yeah, and um, right. These are the pearls that I've got I think they're preciosa pearls. They're two millimeter pearls. I've got hot pink um, I think it's pink a B Y A B yellow Green green a B. I'm not sure and then and then there's a blue There's all sorts of different colors all sorts of different sizes on the website uh, it just so happened that these colours kind of went pretty well with the set. I do have some grey ones and some dark blue ones, but I didn't end up showing you those in the end. But the reasoning behind this nail was I kind of wanted, at the top, I wanted the pearls to be kind of compact. And then as you go down the nail, I wanted it to look like the pearls were kind of falling away, but like in a rainbow. So at the top, I'm going to start with the yellow. Oops, just adjusting the camera. Sniff. <laughs> Sniff again. <laughs> By the way, I've just had... Actually, I'm not going to tell you. It's going to be a surprise. <laughs> Wait until the 1st of August. Oh, yes, baby! New collection, just saying. Not going to tell you from who, but you're going to love it. Okay, so, right, top of the nail. Look, they're all nice and compact. And what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna I'm gonna bring like a couple down slightly. Do I do it on this one? Do I do it? Yeah, look, just like bring like a couple down, and then we're gonna add some of the green ones. I love that green color. Okay. So you can see the green, the green is sort of mingling in with the yellow and then the green is coming down a little bit further. I'm going to put another little green one in there. It's a bit like, imagine like a melting lollipop, but it's not a lollipop, it's pearls, you know? So the little dobs of gem glue that I'm putting on here are obviously not as compact as what they were at the top, but they are becoming gappy does that make sense i say that a lot don't i does that make sense <laughs> do you know what i mean does that make sense so you can see look the the little blobs of gem glue i've put on are becoming more separated and again i kind of wanted to do it in a i might have said this already but i wanted to do it in like a rainbow so we've got the yellow the green the blue I don't have purple, so I'll go straight into the pink, and I've got two different pinks, and then the white will be at the bottom. But as I go down, the pearls are going to decrease. There was two stuck together there. They obviously didn't want to leave each other. Can you see? So the gap's getting bigger. And then I'll put a few more on the bottom. We will get there eventually. Oh, I want to sniff so bad. <laughs> Quickly finish the video, Nat, so then you can sniff to your heart's content. There we are. See, like, look, we've got massive gaps now. Massive gaps. There we are. So we're just going to finish off with some of those light... Where have I gone? Come back. There we go. Some of those light pink ones. I think they were pink AB, and then the dark pink ones were hot pink. There we go. And then I'm just going to put three of the YAB pearls. I'm going to have to use pearls more often. I really like these. I think they're really nice. I'll have to use them with the crystals in, you know, in the same, yeah. Anyway, right, that's going to go in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then this is, this is them done. I really like them. I hope you did too. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. You can get 5% off Crystal Parade using my code NAT5. 15% off Model 1s using my code Natalie 0 And 10% off Nail Sugar using my code NATMUG10. I think that's all for today. Yeah, love you all. See you on Thursday. 